Hi everyone and welcome to this All Plan Pro tip. In this video we're going to talk about bringing in three solids from other programs. And these could be objects that you've created in the past, downloaded from an online database like this one, or obtained from a manufacturer. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete this one so that we can start over and take a look at the full process. Now if you already have the file that you want to import into All Plan, you can simply drag and drop it in from Windows Explorer. Now notice that if I hover over this object, my tooltip is telling me that this is an instance of a smart symbol. So some files will come into All Plan as a symbol, and this one's coming in from SketchUp, and so there's two things we're going to notice about this one, and the first is the symbol. In order to work with it in All Plan, the first thing we need to do is unlink the symbol. So I'm going to right click on the object here, and I'm going to select Unlink Smart Symbol. Now I'm going to choose the second option since there's two of them. And here in the Unlink Smart Symbol Properties dialog, I need to make sure that I change this to Fully. Now I'm going to right click to confirm, and then I can simply escape out of the command. Now if I hover over my object, notice that it says it's a 3D surface. So this is the second item that we need to pay attention to depending on what file type is brought into All Plan. So since it's a 3D surface, it's not going to have any volume information. I can easily turn this into a 3D solid by using our Boolean operations. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a box. So I'm just going to use the box command in all plan. And I can simply draw my box encompassing the entire structure. So make sure that the box fully encloses your structure. Now I can use the Create Volume from Intersection command. Select first the box, then draw a window around your structure to make sure that you select all parts of it. Right click to confirm, and now I have my 3D object. And if I hover over this, I can see the tooltip indicating that it's a 3D object. And I can also right click on this object, take a look at its properties, and you can see that it does have volume information. So you can now use this to calculate a weight. You can put this into your reports, into tables on your drawings. You can use it any way that you need to. So now let's take a look at a second option and we're going to bring in a file from a manufacturer. Now a lot of manufacturers actually still have their objects in older drafting programs. And so you might see a step file extension or an IGS file extension and you may need to go ahead and convert those from those file formats to one that all plan can take in. And to do that, there are a lot of free CAD programs uh, that you can download off of the internet that will convert those file formats into a DXF, a DWG, or an IFC or something else that all plan can take in. So once we have that file converted, I can simply drag and drop it into all plan. Now this conversion process might take some time, uh, so just be patient. There is a lot going on in the background to take it from that older solid program that was converted to a ADXF or DWG, and that's now being converted to all plan. Okay, so you can see once you have it done, here's my part. And notice that again, all of these are tiny little 3D surfaces. And so the program that it was created in and then converted from Again, doesn't really give me a true solid object. These are actually created through surfaces. And here in All Plan, we want to convert it to a solid object. Now, in this case, this creates a lot of tiny little 3D surfaces. And sometimes that can be difficult for the program to convert into a solid using our Boolean operations. So one trick that you can do to get around that is to first resize this to a much larger size and then shrink it back to its original size. So I'm going to use the resize tool. I'm going to leave this as a factor and I'm going to draw a window over my entire object. Now I'm going to just click somewhere to define the reference point and then factor it by a very large size. So I'm going to say a thousand and do that in every direction X, Y, and Z. So you can see now that's much bigger. And now I'm ready to repeat the same steps that we saw before in creating my box. So I'm going to select the box command, 
This time I'm going to use my elevation view to set my Z coordinate and then use my plan view to draw my box around the object. And then I can come back to my elevation view to make sure that I fully enclose it. So now that I have my box, I'm ready to perform my operation, create volume from intersection. I can select my box, draw a window around my object. You can see everything is selected and once ready, right click to confirm. Now again, this process might take a while and it may look like the program is frozen or not working, but it is actually working in the background. So just be patient, let it do its thing and you'll get your solid object in the end. Okay, so you'll probably get this message, which is fine. You can simply click OK. And there you go. You now have a 3D solid object in all plan. So that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you very much and enjoy working in all plan. Thank <laughs> you.